Leopards once roamed the Caucasus Mountains in great numbers, but because of poaching and human activity, there are now less than a thousand Persian leopards left on the entire planet, and virtually none in Russia. Сокращение видового разнообразия является одной из важнейших экологических проблем человечества. Поэтому восстановление переднеазиатского леопарда как исчезающего вида требует к себе большого внимания. It all began in the 19th century when this area was conquered by the Russian Empire and turned into a royal hunting grounds. The leopards were hunted to the point of near extinction. So in 2007, scientists launched a breeding program to save them. Исключение контакта с человеком – это залог выживания леопарда в дикой природе, и это главный принцип работы нашего центра. It takes two years for a cub born here to be ready to live on its own. Their only contact with scientists during that time is through cameras, because the most likely reason for a leopard not to survive after it's been released is familiarity with people. The leopards must pass three tests before reintroduction to nature – hunting for food, having fear of humans, and learning not to attack domesticated animals. When a leopard is ready for a graduation test, wild animals pass through these automated gates and are released into these leopard hunting grounds. There is a leopard there waiting for a graduation test right now. Since 2013, two cubs have successfully been released. Four more will be released this summer. The goal is 50, the minimum number of animals it takes for the species to survive on its own.